asylum seekers who were refusing to leave a former Australian-run detention centre in Papua New Guinea have been moved to alternative accommodation, the government in Canberra has confirmed. Buses carrying about 300 asylum seekers left the main asylum camp on Friday following a police operation. Hundreds of men refused to leave the camp when it shut on 31 October, prompting a three-week standoff. Some men were beaten with batons by PNG police on Friday, detainees claimed. Videos posted on social media showed PNG authorities swinging poles towards asylum seekers. They, the asylum seekers, are leaving, all the people. They don't like to move but then they beat us, one refugee told the BBC on Friday. Earlier, Police Commissioner Gary Baki said that removals on Thursday had been conducted peacefully and without the use of force. Australia has said it was not involved in the operation. Under a controversial policy, Australia has detained asylum seekers who arrive by boat in camps on Manus Island and Nauru, a small Pacific nation. Australia shut down the Manus Island Centre after a PNG court ruled it was unconstitutional. The UN said on Thursday it was troubled by reports the men were being forcefully moved but could not independently verify the allegations because its staff had been denied access to the centre. About 600 asylum seekers had initially refused to leave the camp over fears they would be attacked in the local community, where their presence is a cause of tension. The former detainees were transferred to transit centres on the island. Australian has repeatedly said the centres are ready to be inhabited. However, the UNS Refugee Agency said on Tuesday that the alternative housing remained under construction, was inadequately secured, and lacked the most basic services such as medical care. Canberra has steadfastly ruled out allowing the men into Australia, arguing it would prompt further human trafficking and lead to deaths at sea.